All right, welcome back, everybody. This is more of Jonas' adventures, the Pyromancer. Soon we will burn the world, but for now we gotta keep leveling because I am not ready yet. But look at this, we're pulling back some real loot this time. Very excited for this episode. I am wondering how much we can get for this exquisite casket. Oh, it, this has been nerfed. No way. Oh, I should have returned to town and looted before the update because it's uh, 0.11 now. And I could have sworn that this one said 600 uh, in the previous episode yesterday. God damn. Okay. Well, anyway, let's start here. X be gone. 125 is not bad. 375 of this one here. Uh, the amulet, I believe, goes, or the pearl necklace, sorry, goes on the smith. But honestly, this one I might save. Cooldown duration could be clutch very late game. Yeah. Uh, we need another purse, which I have somewhere, I believe. Yeah, it is worth a little bit less here. Uh, let me refill the water skin. I think I have a purse over here. No. I'll buy a new one, who cares? We got the dough, the cash, the money. He's got a purse. It costs what? 22 coins? What a ripoff. You gotta pay money to store money, I suppose. Alright. I really was hoping that you would sell me a better a chess piece, but no such luck. I don't want the padded leather vest. I want a proper ma magical outfit, sir. Get to work, you lazy bastard. Uh, I wonder why he doesn't sell cloaks. The cloaks have been in the game forever. There's not that many in the engine, but sure, surely this guy could sell you a proper cloak that would be better than a worn cloak. You would think so, right? I've never seen him sell a cloak. In fact, I've never seen anyone sell any cloak. And it's just a piece of cloth. It's a, some, something that most people in the Middle Ages would wear because it's a very useful... Well, it's a very easy way to make a coat that everyone can use. Very convenient piece of clothing. And for some reason, no one in, in town has thought to make a business out of selling anyone. Any. So, there you go. Uh, I'm sure it'll happen at some point. 1,500 to repair this pull lever crossbow. And it is the highest tier crossbow, I think. So, will I ever use it though not not for that kind of money like i if i had 1500 gold i would spend it to spend i would spend it on something else it'd be gone all right making progress here at the early beginning of the episode here get out the staff again eh, why would you carry the staff just walk around empty hand looking like a times person here very non-threatening all right we now have room for cash, so let's go and pick up some from Bert. Bert won't have enough money for all my stuff, I think. This is 400. Very cool. 400 is really good money. Can't complain about that. Jade figurine. The cup. And he's out of money. Okay, then. We will buy another identification scroll, because apparently we got to stack those. We are buying an enchant disenchantment scroll for reasons. Uh... And teasing a special thing. It'll happen. It'll all come together. Don't worry. Don't worry. But we gotta... There's a little bit of preparation still to have to go here. I'm here for my reward, Captain. 
All right, any contracts? There are no contracts right now. We have finally uh, gotten all the stuff we could do in Ausbook, and we didn't reach the next tier of reputation. I am slightly disappointed, but we will go and start up in Manshire. Maybe even go directly to Bryn. We will see. Which means I can't get the better equipment from shops. <sighs> that sucks. Okay. I was really hoping to buy a better chess piece from the tailor. Um, and he might reset his shop into better stuff for um, the next episode, but it won't happen in this one, I think. So that is unfortunate. Mm -hmm -hmm. Sell the topaz. Well, he cannot afford any more of my stuff. Let us pick up whatever we need from the tavern chest up here. And then we will head off to Manchia. To this episode, I would like to both do this little town management that we are doing and also do a contract in Manchia then. Bring that, bring this. Oh, we can identify it immediately. This is a potion of elusiveness. Oh, that's useful. And precision, not so much. Uh, Stardust, bring it along. Sure, we'll bring the ring, we'll move it closer to Bryn. And why not? Just stack everything into the inventory. Off to Manshire we go. Get a move on, kitchen. Wasting time. We're all busy people here. Do you have anything to say? Hunting advice. Teach me something. You teach range weapons. What are you selling? Nothing important. All right, go. Manchai it is. Over to this guy. Disenchantment scroll. Let's see. Moose antlers. We have an extra pair. We will sell the plate. That thing. All right. Oh, oh. Wanderer's cow. Magic power plus 5%. Energy and energy restoration. I could really use these things. And we have the money. It is certainly better than the elusive peasant hat. I have 4,000 gold right now. And here's the piece of clothing that I was hoping that the uh, Osbrook tailor would sell us, but instead we find it here. This is happening. Slow it down. There. Still had this thing. I'm saving the other hat. It, it'll sell for 10 crowns. So we're not selling it. We're just keeping it for posterity. Maybe later on I would want to have dodge chance and healing efficiency instead. Um, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So might as well store it. And nothing else here. Potion. Scrolls for posterity. Varen's ring. This one for safekeeping. Look at all the stuff that I'm storing for potential later use. I'm like a hamster or like a rodent. Like buries their nuts in the ground and then forget about them. Uh, what about a better staff? Monk staff? Nah. God damn it, these damn shops and their low tier equipment. Um. Oh, did we have splints? No. Okay, we do need better medical stuff. Splints. Oh, they're more expensive here. No, 18. Okay, good. Uh, boom, boom. Healing cells are plenty. There. An extra bandage won't hurt. 
au contraire. We have potion of antivenom and an antidote and an antitoxin. I'll sell it. I'll briefly check the shops down here before we do anything. Oh, I think we had extra lockpicks in Osbrook, but I don't want to go back. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, his extra job. Sure. Oh, uh, the nightly girdle. I don't think I've seen it in this update, or at least I don't remember. Oh, and they've nerfed this one quite a bit. All the belts kind of do the same now. Even the hunting fan the fancy belt is kind of as good as the nightly girdle now. They provide slightly different bonuses, but are sort of same tier of bonuses. As much as you would expect a belt to provide, I suppose. Oh, whoops. Fill the water skin. Okay, I do want to do a contract right now. Look at this new... This is much better for a wizard hat than that other thing. This is a good reason <laughs> to buy that hat was to get rid of the silly townspeople hat. Um, over here, mysterious glow. And you know what? We are not ready. Never mind. In here. Sell the alcohol. She does not have money. But I can give her the money. Give me a ham and a that thing. A roasted fatty meat. There. Am I forgetting anything? What does it cost? 24 for an extra water skin. Eh, I don't I hate going back for water and being low on water. So let's just buy an extra water skin. This is something I should be doing more often. Mysterious Glow, go. I feel... I guess I feel overconfident. So we might die this episode. <laughs> That's usually where it starts going south. But we level 7, almost level 8. This is around the time that I would normally start doing the troll mission, or just, just trying to do the troll fight. Uh, I would probably go for level 10 about now. I've heard that the troll, or I've seen in the patch notes that the troll has had a few reworks this, uh, this uh, patch here, this update. Uh, apparently people have found all kinds of bugs with him. And so maybe it's a good thing that I haven't made it to the troll yet. But, um, yeah. But, um, one thing that is bothering me since I'm talking about update stuff, I still have not even glanced at any of the new enemies. And I think that's a big shame. You add three new cool enemy types to the game and then you hide them from the player. I've heard of other people finding them, but you know, I've played like 30, maybe 40 hours in this new update at this point. Yeah, close to that. And I still have not seen any of them. And it's just a damn shame. That's what it is. We won't be stopping at this special location regardless, so let's just move on. Um, but yeah, I think most people will agree. And I... yeah. Maybe I'm just really unlucky. But like I've seen hundreds, maybe, maybe a thousand bandits in this update at this point. Just random bandits everywhere. And I make a percentage of those spiders and bees and birds. The birds in particular you would think could pop up anywhere. The bees could be rare, sure, and the spiders not commonplace. Maybe they only habit, inhabit special areas, but like, come on. 
Come on. And I've been around. I know in this series we've been sticking around Osbrook, but I didn't do that in my other series. for a cough there. A good horse today. But gosh darn it, I want to play. Uh, here. Am I on the right tile? I am. Fearsome crypt. Ooh. I'm so scared. First Manshire quest. It should be fairly doable. There's some birds, but this is not the bird, kind of birds that I was talking about. There are monster birds about. Or not. So I haven't found any. Anyway, let's get the murder we started. Uh oh. Oh. We're running. <laughs> oh, jeez. No way. I... I made a dum-dum. Okay, can we kill this guy? Yeah. Okay, and I should be able to beat this zombie. As long as no one else comes around. Oh god! And I can't leave because of the fire. Oh, we got him. Okay, good. Okay, from here I can escape. Surely he can't kill me in one blow. He, oh, he, he they do still do the sidestepping into, uh, because of the ring of fire. I see, okay. All right, um, oh, oh, he's still alive. Okay, I thought he died. Okay. Um, <laughs> overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right. Someone forgot to remind me. Jesus. All right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We didn't die. But uh, if that had been a high tier skeleton dude, I would have died. So there. We're, we're not immortal. Not immortal. Good good thing that we got reminded and didn't actually die. Just more like a reminder that, hey, it could happen at any point. Maybe you should watch out. Oh, it's just like a giant rat. Okay. First chest. We find an enemy over here. Chest will be looted later. Oh, we gotta make sure that, that he doesn't get to a corpse. That will be this one here. Noted. Can we somehow... Here, I, I'll go here. Oh. Well, oh, that's annoying. Uh, dazed, so can't use abilities. Okay, here then. There, not hitting the chest. Uh, first, first... Of Fireballs, then the blaze to reduce cooldowns there. Then the ring of fire. And the uh, fire barrage would be ready then. That's cool. Try for the chest again. Got it. Uh, this is tempting, but it's literally worth like 10 coins maybe. Oh, oh, I am, I almost forgot. We do not open doors manually. We are too good for that. Nice. Can I hit you from here? No. Okay, oh, can he... I don't know if they eat skeleton corpses, so maybe this will be an opportunity to find that out. 
Yeah, we'll drink. Let's see if he goes for the skeleton corpse. He did not. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that he can, but he didn't. So, that is data of a kind. Alright. Ooh. Do I dare? These give me uh, experience gain, so even if the other ring is amazing, it is doubtful that it replaces. Oh, if it is amazing, then it will, but if it's just like an average enchantment, if it's a curse, it could be bad, you know, and I like the experience gain anyway, so let's just play it safe and not equip it. This trap has already been activated. Good. Oh, well. Footman Mace. One of the better pieces of equipment, so we'll pick that up for now. An archer. Uh, like this or that? That. Very good. There. Forty nine. 48 crushing. Oh, I think it takes extra damage from blunt attacks or something like that. Surely I don't do 49 damage on, as a base. Do I do one fire damage? Three extra fire damage. I didn't even notice. I mean, I, I'm sure I mentioned it, but it, it's kind of funny that I got a fire weapon when I'm the pyromancer, you know. That's awesome. I love it. Some of the mist. Good Falcon. Only 25 that time. Huh. I wonder how we got the 49 before. Because I don't think it was a crit, but maybe I'm wrong. Obedience. Oh, we're about to level. Dope. Um. And there we are. Now, this is one of those interesting levels where I don't really know what to do with my life. Geomancy is very tempting. People are sending me stone shard pictures on Steam as we're speaking, as I'm playing stone shard. It's amazing. All right, um, let me see here. I actually thought about the kick, the mighty kick. Let me read this one real quick. Um, because the fun thing about the kick, or the, the, the sad thing about the kick, is that even if you manage to get the knockback, most of the time the enemies will just step right back into your zone, and then you're back in combat. You will have dealt the kick for free they use the turn to get back it can there's various benefits to this like they don't do anything back in that turn so you have effectively kicked them for free which is eight crushing damage it's nothing but it helps it's something i suppose and then uh, if you have other cooldowns you know you have given yourself an extra turn of cooldown on other skills so that's kind of cool and if the target resists the knockback it applies stagger they also get Lower control resistance and move resistance. 
So for the cooldown thing, that's why you would get it, because it, it helps you with the cooldowns. Otherwise, you're getting it maybe to go to the next tier, but that's not what I'm talking about. The other thing is the leg sweep. The leg sweep, I think, is way better. It has a higher chance to do its special effect, 80 versus 50. And this one will put you at distance 2 from an enemy guaranteed, which means they still have to step closer to you and you get the cooldown effect for other skills. But it also has a chance to immobilize all affected targets and it's multiple targets. It's three in front of you or behind you or wherever you want to put it. And then you retreat for free. So, which means you can effectively break away from combat with this one. It's much better as a base. Now the kick, the kick is fun because I, in, in this particular build, put down stuff like, you know, lava on the floor that I could then kick people into, making the kick better than it normally is on the Pyromancer specifically. I still think the leg sweep is better. Disengage is oh, just a good skill. Uh, combat Mastery is not unlocked. We could unlock Pyromancy or Combat Mastery and that could give me stuff like Opportune Moment, which I have wondered if this will trigger on spells. Does that count as a successful attack to do a spell? If so, if yes, then amazing. If not, then eh, still good in melee combat. Seize the initiative could is just a good thing. Set up using tactic stances or skipping a turn. We do skip turns. Gives us extra weapon damage and lower damage taken. Eh, do I skip turns that often? Warcry is a spell, I suppose, in a way. It is a skill, I think. Um, it will give me battle rage, which increases my crit chance and crit efficiency, and it lowers there. Well, if they're not hitting me anyway, they, it, and you can't block spells, and you can't fumble when you're not attacking me. Okay. Opportune moment, or leg sweep, or a runic boulder. And I literally cannot make up my mind right now. Um, in in attributes, we are most certainly getting perception up to 15. That is the goal. And we are still uh, not in range here. Three more, three more levels before we unlock the next thing. So I'm saving the skill point right now. Uh, we can always, if I need the leg sweep suddenly, I can spec into the leg sweep and then that'll be the choice. If we need the boulder suddenly, we have the boulder readily available. Um, the opportune moment we could unlock. Uh, Combat Master Retreat is one effectively when we get back to Manshire. There's the, the trainer there. It is the town leader, which I forget the name of. The one in the castle, he little teachers. Combat Master Retreat. For the meager pies of 250 gold. Oh, I really wanted to see if he was going to eat the corpse there. So, too bad he died. Um, I'm worried about being flanked from over here, so if that guy hasn't spotted me, I will go and open this door right now. Could be the boss chamber, so let's rest up. And we are thirsty. It does not look like the boss chamber. And this is a locked door, so unlikely to be opened by a random enemy. Um, optimism means extra experience gain. Awesome. Let's push on then. Forward. To glory. This is a zombie, no problem. He's gonna step into the fire, yes. Then he sidesteps. 
Good. Tempting to just push on, even though we're low on energy here. Nothing up there? Okay. Good to know that we're not being flanked. I could walk through the fire, but we are also waiting for the energy, so no rush. And Archer... I will put the lava behind him, hoping that he will walk forwards. Well, no, I don't care. I just wanted to take more damage. I'm not going to shoot through this obstacle, because there's no chance that it blocks my shot. Oh, huh. Well, that's annoying. Should have put it more backwards then. Yeah, I was right about that initial thought. Okay. Doesn't matter, but could have optimized slightly more. Oh, and this is a ghost. Very likely to be a ghost uh, is how we read that one. Okay. Oh, and this trap has been deactivated. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me think. First of all, we gotta rest up. This is a dead end, so we're not coming back here. If we can avoid it. Um, optimism helps. Yeah, with fortitude, that's nice. Eat something. Then... Same as before, we are doing Ring of Fire, so that if it appears a ghost, they will, it will be on taking some damage as it comes in here. Or maybe it just ends up at a distance from us. This is the f first time, or maybe that's because I put down the Ring of Fire, I don't know. Either way, this is amazing. Yeah, couldn't be better. I'm just, uh, all this fire needs me is also making me do extra damage. He's still only taking one per, uh, which is kind of sad. I, I hope I'm not destroying the chest here, but we will then learn. Um, I really hope this doesn't destroy the sarcophagus. I doubt it would. Uh, I did lose 16 durability just then from the magma rain. Huh. And how much from the Ring of Fire? 26 and 16. Okay, I do think it's pretty sturdy. So I still don't think we are going to destroy it. But if it is, then let's learn. I know we have some nice equipment in it, but I really want to... It looks like the durability is going down on the sarcophagus ish Still no chances taken with the ghost. Okay, that, that was maybe a mistake. Anyway, we're done destroying the sarcophagus. <laughs> um, how do I go about this? I think like this now we have to bring a fire available, so... Oh, good. Yeah, the fact that it spawned so far away from me just made it easy. Let me do this. I took no damage from that. Two damage then. Ten that turn. Okay. Ah. So it's not painless to walk through fire for me. But almost. Militia pole axe. Huh. I thought that I I don't recognize the sprite here, so I thought it would be super high tier. It still looks like it would be worth more money than the footman mace, for example. And then the unidentified gloves here. We gotta bring him back. They're not cursed, but we gotta bring him back. Alright. Looking good. And a little uh, some guy, some guy. Should be easy pickings. Let's 
still standing though. Yeah, and a crit made him not stand anymore. I'll wait for the fire. Good. Ooh, another chest. Yeah, money. It's effectively what that gives us. And smash that thing. I won't make a point out of smashing every single urn in, in the dungeon, but we'll take you as we pass by them here. There, disarm. For the extra XP, very good. It rounds up. Yes. Because 5% of 10 make, gives you a half, I think. So it rounds up. Now, quick math is not Kitchen's specialty. What the heck? I couldn't click that trap, so I thought it had already been sprung. Now, it was a fire trap, so that was very lucky. We have resistance to that kind of stuff. But I'm still surprised that it actually did something. Don't well on it. I probably just misread it or something. Filling X, nah. Oh, the stairs down are like literally next to the entrance. Okay. That's a rare, but I guess it's just random. chest. I love the skeleton dungeons. They are populated by chests. It's amazing. Good stuff. We will wait. A special dagger, you say. By the way, equip that one there. Oh, look at that thing. Man, this is a two-handed axe. Maybe that should be my next run, two-handed axes. They are so cool. A scythe is also a two-handed axe, you know. Could be fun. And axes, axes is just plain old fun. They chop people right up. Probably the most, uh, the highest damage build you can do. It's just uh, axes and then two-handed axes. Or dual building one-handed axes. Well, and then pyromancy. Pyromancy is also pretty high damage. Uh, but not melee, obviously. Okay. That was this floor. Now we go down and down into the deep. Oh, there's more here. And pitchfork. Let's go. Why do we see this already? This is this is happening a lot when we come in onto a floor in a dungeon. We sometimes get to scout a little bit through the walls. Same over here. It's kind of strange, and it's new. I'm not sure exactly how stuff like that can occur. Like, I'm not a game designer, so... Come over here so I can... burn you. And I am kind of scared of this ghoul, I won't lie. I am interested to see, though, if he will eat the skeleton. My gut tells me that I've seen them eat skeleton corpses before. Even though it doesn't really make sense, you could say, ah, well, they're gnawing on the bones. Yeah. More people are texting me on, on Steam about it. Stone Shard's amazing. Yeah. 
good to see. Love it. There's always those naysayers that are like, uh, oh, bad game. But don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. Stone shot is great. Ah, I got cocky. All right. We can beat these guys, though. I was like, I don't need to open this door at range. I can just walk in and do it. What could possibly go wrong? And I'm taking damage. Anyway. It's all good. Look at that, we're speeding towards level 9 here. Two more chests coming up. First one. Uh, I don't remember this chest piece template. So maybe we gotta bring it back. It. Drop that, drop this and that. Okay, now we have room. I could check if it was cursed, but then we would be bound to it and it's pretty broken, so yeah. And then we wait. Have a little snack. In fact, I'm a little bit hungry. In real life. Maybe I should walk around with a smoked ham on me at all times. You know, just in case I get uh, that little that little hunger. I don't I don't know the exact term for that in English. Like in Danish we have this little hunger kind of thing. Hmm. Anyway, read. How's morale? High. So we don't need to just down this mead. But, you know, alcohol. And I didn't do the whole bottle. I'm not an alcoholic. No, just a little bit. That's a taste. To get that little buzz going. Casually exploring dungeons of doom. No fear. Then we do Fire Barrage, then we do Blaze, then we do Ring of Fire, and now Fire Barrage is ready again, but the enemy is dead. We got the bonus on that Fire Barrage though, and now everything is on cooldown, so let me just uh, do the healthy thing and step back a bit. Then why not? Artillery. As we have covered before, those guys are pretty sturdy, so we don't spare any expenses in taking them down. Because they just end up punching me and it's annoying. Even if they don't kill me. It costs me durability, which which is money, so. Let's go this way. Alright, I smell boss chamber. Uh, so, let me be more deported. Totally fine. Not boss chamber. Nah. We must be getting close though. Fire be gone. More enemies up front. Nice. Oh, we might even use this on the boss fight. Why not? If it's a tough fight. Not if it's an easy one. Ooh, I hear a door opening. 
Oh, it, it couldn't be here. And we wouldn't hear it if it was up there, I think. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's further ahead, which means we'll see it coming. From the same angle. The only thing that can really kill us is if we get flanked. Like, that's how you die. Patience. This is a big dungeon. It just keeps going. Healing self. I'll drop it on the floor. Um, we can come back for it, for it to carry it around now, right now. Not boss chamber. Okay. Oh yeah, it is. It is boss chamber. All right. Never mind. Forget what I said. Uh, with a very low tier stuff. Yes, are the demonic. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. I'm not scared. Um, Stardust then. Magic power, lowered cooldown duration. Oh, it lowers sanity and morale. It's best to avoid using uh, abusing Stardust when your sanity is low. It grants the following effect for 92. It does not say that it comes with an aftermath, which most drugs do. It's not this one. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to fight when we have lower... He's got no help. There's another zombie in here. Not a big deal. Now we bomb him. And he ran away. Okay. Hmm. Now he's got the reanimate ability, so we gotta... You know, kill him, not his friends first. But he is coming forward, and he is now on fire. He's also buffed, and I'm debuffed, so another good reason not to fight. As it stands. And I'm thinking with another meteor shower, or macro rain, or whatever. Oh... I misclicked the damn door. Oh boy. Alright, we're in it now, boys. Um, oh, the door will blow up if I do this. So that's another benefit of the ring. There he is. I'm about to be out of energy. How much damage do I take from this? John is two health. Okay, wow. Uh, not very scary. 57. I will do it. 14%. So next spell that hits him will probably kill him. And I, I didn't take damage from that. Okay. He made a sigil here, which this zombie might step in. It didn't, but it didn't step closer at all. Um, the bat can hurt me. Okay, and this one didn't get lit on fire for that. Interesting. Uh, this costs 26, and the fire rush is 13. Okay, so if I do the magma rain, which I was going to do here, I won't be able to fort the barrage. I'm not in danger. I don't think so. Okay, that did hurt a bit. But he's dead. He is not dead. Okay, he is going to die right now. Yes, good. Okay, so now we just gotta kill the one zombie still fighting. And it's at 7%, so it's almost dead already. Uh, doing a fire. And we got the killing blow. Okay. Not without danger. But I also... I, sh I could have just played it safer. To be fair. Sometimes you gotta live live on the edge though. And I did want to keep the episode short. 
which is not happening, but whatever. Um, bring the rest of the water, drop the water skin. Dagger Street is to read it. Unidentified potion. And Dirk is also worth a fair amount of money. Not if it's so broken, though. In fact, this dagger is not worth anything. Let's be a little bit more critical. The healing self. Okay, and in order to not be uh, hit from the back while I'm looting this room here, we will clear out that one first. Source of light. You know how this goes. We gotta wait. Uh, we gotta probably think about spending a healing salve here and one there. We have an excess. So let's just get it done. Good. We have fire. No ghost, but a better chess piece. Okay, this... I gotta try. It was cursed. Alright. Uh, one of them will replace the mantle, so the mantle gets dropped. No ghost. Turn this mantle. Bye-bye. Forever, I know I forgot a sarcophagus, but still got more dungeon and not a lot of time. Do, 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 do. Not right now. So there. Now the rest of the dungeon we can explore a bit quicker when we're not like potentially walking into a boss chamber every time I open a door. So. Gives me a bit more confidence moving forward here. And there must be a, at least one more chest. Oh, I'm not supposed to open doors like that. Oops. There. I think we saw a question mark over here, so there will be an enemy. There you are. Sanar! He will run away. All right. Was that the entire dungeon? No. Go, go, go. Halfway to level nine. Roasted meat. For Jonah. We randomly spotted a trap. Which is good, because I wasn't going to check the tra traps in this room for some reason. Not deliberately, mind you, just forgetful. It happens. Like this guy forgot that fire is bad, so he chose to step in it. Should disable the trap and the final chest of the dungeon. Oh, with a special ring. Amazing. All right. All in all, a really, really good dungeon run. We will make a ton of money off of the contract too. 
Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. We found good stuff. And I'm excited to identify stuff. Anything else? <clears throat> um, oh, right, the door was literally right here. Oh, are we down to one lockpick? No, there's an extra stack, okay. Yeah, but always brings two stacks. We could have been unlucky and ran out of one stack. So, that's a nice little reminder. I brought both purses, that was not intentional, all right. So there's potential for more loot here. But this is still like a thousand gold made-ish. Maybe more, considering some of it is put, uh, up, uh, loot up, uh, sorry, equipment upgrades. As well, that's also factored in, and then we'll find out what a curse we have here. Maybe this is a curse too. We got some rings that need to be identified, more curse stuff. Yeah, yeah. Looking good. Potion. Not cursed. I think I checked that already. I shouldn't be equipping cursed stuff right now. Some of it might actually like lose me gold or whatever as we're walking around. Oh, in fact, didn't the money just go down? Yeah, but the money's coming down. Oh, the greed. The greed curse. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Honestly, a great one, because it gives me more XP, if, if I recall correctly. And that's exactly what I need with this character, so it's fine. Oh, it, I mean, it even says so in the lock. Curse of Gold Hoarder steals your gold. Right. <clears throat> um, I did not know that that would show up when you haven't identified your thing. Interesting. Spoiler alert. Am I still walking the right way? I am. Bum bum bum. We will head straight to the priest and identify some stuff. Well, I say that, but we have identification scores over here, which is why I'm detouring. Here. I want to see this one, specifically. Oh, that is nice. Energy restoration, you know, it's pretty useful for my build. Health restoration is not to be scoffed at. Um... only get three so there oh also energy restoration and fire resistance which we now know is pretty useful i'll take the gold loss that's fine okay interesting uh this one control resistance and health restoration also experience gain plus three percent okay uh, the other one has energy restoration and skills, energy cost reduction. No, but this is definitely better than a non-magical one. Yeah. And there we have another ring. Health restoration plus 4%. Not bad, but not good enough either. Okay. And that was all the identification scrolls. The healing padded doublet is not better right now. But if I ever disenchant 
the fireproof doublet, then this one would be better. So we are saving it. More stockpiling for the win. Oh, have you heard anything in string? Save this, save that, save that. Save this. I've oh, got another one of those. Okay. And we'll do some micromanagement in the next episode. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode as always. And uh, this is the end of this one. I'll keep one stardust with us here. All right. Yeah. See you tomorrow, guys, uh, where we will be leveling up. And I think it's time. I think it's time to do the, the special thing. Uh, yeah. It's the witch. We're going to the witch next episode. And I suppose we'll pass by the Defiled Monastery. We can hit these two points of interest. Why not? See, it came down here. It's super uninteresting. Okay. Yeah, that'll be for the teaser for the next episode. See you then, guys. And bye-bye.